Welcome back to Vegas Live with Ninon. You know that by now, for sure. You know who I am. Um, I have Melissa Brown with me, and uh, obviously I've never met her before. She is absolutely beautiful, and she's a singer, an actress, and all the above entertainment. Mm -hmm. What is? I love her hair. She got you got purple in your hair. Yep, purple, purple. Did purple. you do that, or you had someone do it for you? Oh no, um, Vanessa at Hotbox Salon in Henderson. Oh, let's awesome. talk about an advertisement. All right, Hotbox, here we come. She's really awesome. Is she really good? Oh yeah, she's great. So so nice too. And she's nice. Yeah. So maybe I'll go to the hot box. I always wanted to go to a hot box anyway, but I wasn't planning it on uh, doing my hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe something else. So it's a different thing. This is a different it can hot be box. A few different things. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah. You're doing How are well. You? So I'm doing great. It's good to have you on the show. She's obviously, you know, she's one of my guests. And well, so what's going on with your life now? Are you acting? Are you singing? What are you up to? Um, I am doing a whole bunch of things. Well, that's good. As I many entertainers do. Yes, um, yes. They, and then they have their regular job to bring the money and to pay the rent. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, but that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay. So I do, um, I have an edible business, actually. Um, really? Speaking edible? of hot, hot box, yeah. <laughs> hot box edibles. Um, but we have, um, yeah, it's called M&J um, Cannabis Creations. And it's oh, um, cannabis like, edibles. Mm -hmm. I love this idea. They're now very, remember very one thing: cannabis is not marijuana, right? Well, there's like different forms of it. So some oh, okay. of it is so like THC or like CBD is have, like the non psychoactive. See, one. Yes. So that has no marijuana in it. CBD. Yeah, like not the psychoactive yes. effects, like, the psycho, like oh, whatever the psychoactive <laughs> effects are. I'm not quite sure where that all goes because I never, I've never tried any of all that stuff. Oh really? I've never yeah. been into drugs. I've never tried marijuana. I'm like an old dude, aren't I? I'm like an old boring dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's very new here too. It's like I think only a couple of years uh, legalized here, but um, we do vegan edibles there. Um, and so, is this your own business? <laughs> um, are you married? Uh, no, but I have a partner. But you have a partner, mm -hmm. female or male? A male partner. A male partner. And how's it work? Is he a is he a dating partner, or is he a future husband, or is he just well, <laughs> gotta get these facts. Is he we watching? Have to get, no, I'm we kidding. gotta get these facts straight before we go any further. I'm putting her right on the spot, and, right. going, and you're going for it. And she loves every minute of it because now we can see how she acts. Because this is like coming up like, oh, I never thought she'd ask me those questions. I never thought that would come up. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's great. He's an actor as well, and he um, he does stage combat. So he taught me um, what all of that stage stuff. Combat? Um, so like when you do uh, fights like in theater or in film and stuff, oh, okay. it's like the choreography. So you have to do it like it really is. Mm -hmm. So he's teaching you that. Why are you planning on having parts of combat? Well, <laughs> just in our movies. <laughs> oh. You'll be ready on the street though. Somebody comes up and insults you. Then Give them a bunch of fives. This is a bunch of fives. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from New York, so I'm, I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so me, anybody you know. from New York is ready for a battle. It's okay. It's okay. They're friendly people. I love New Yorkers. Oh, yeah. I do. I love New York. They're friendly. They're nice. They're great people. They're like they're a little bit like the British. Mm. They're friendly and they're nice and they take you in. Yeah. So anyway, let's get back to this, this eatable place. It sounds quite interesting. Yeah, we just started it about um, like a year ago or so, yeah. um, and uh, we've had pretty decent success so far with getting some regular customers, so that's really good. But Because um, that's the idea of the whole thing with any business, yeah. and it doesn't matter what the business is, um, to true. get reoccurring customers of whatever you're doing. Yeah, so exactly. yeah, that's, that's getting good. Um, what sort of eatables do you serve? Um, we do a little bit of everything. Uh, we have really good brownies. Um, we do like brownies with I heard about the brownies marijuana. with marijuana in them. Mm -hmm. they, they like to sort of put marijuana in them and take them to a party. Oh look, I brought you some cookies and brown. And then you take a bite of it and then all of a sudden... <laughs> yeah, and then you're having a really good time. <laughs> Then you have a really good time. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. it is it is really helpful. Um, we um, we try to promote it as like medicinal because um, like for myself, I have a medical card for it. Um, I suffer with chronic pain and and headaches and um, and I have um, you know bipolar disorder myself. So I um, wow to admit you have bipolar is a pretty dramatic thing. Why do you why did you just suddenly admit that? Oh, because um, it helps with that. 
the marijuana really does. Um, so, you know, it, um, it definitely calms people down who have mental illness, who have anxiety and things like have, that. It really helps stage that. two or four with bipolar? Um, I, stage two. Stage two. Okay, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah it's, it's manageable, but it's, um, you know, it does get to be a lot. So when it does, um, it's nice to have something to kind of calm me down. Yeah, I really bit. don't want to go into this subject, but I will since we brought it up. But when you say you go into um, one of your stages or one of your feelings, what exactly happens? Do you mentally break down or feel insecure or do you mentally start being all over the place? Or is it both? Um, so it's different. If you have like manic episodes, um, it can be very taxing because it's a lot of like depressing. energy. Um, but you can have depressive episodes as well where, um, you know, it kind of it kind of ebbs and flows. Dilutes your mental happiness being. Uh, yeah, yeah, it can be it can so be very depressing. like you know. Yeah. 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 yeah you so kind of with go the, back and with forth. the marijuana and are you talking about straight marijuana or are you talking about the C B D? Um, this is for marijuana and C B D. Usually um, there's like a combination of the two where okay. you can kind of um, make it so that the psychoactive effects don't affect you as much, but you still get that body high yeah. so that, you know, you can feel relaxed and so not this have that take, muscle tension. Yeah, so this takes place of the pills your doctor prescribes to you. Oh, well, they don't uh, prescribe it. They can't prescribe it yet, technically. No, 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 for no, that, no but... I said the pills. So if you went to a doctor, he would give you not marijuana. Oh, I see, yes. He would give you pills, whatever those pills are, that can dramatically make you probably 10 times worse. Um, well, yeah, they can they can help for sure. Um, like the pills, you know. I mean, definitely everybody has a different you know thing that helps them. So. Of course, because we're all in a different body. So anyway, so mm -hmm. now you're creating this clientele, and you're very happy about it. So apart from brown, is what else do you sell? So people mm -hmm. can come to it. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, we have um, you know, being from New York, we make garlic knots. Um, so that's really one of our staples. There. Garlic knots. <laughs> garlic knots. Oh, they're nice. like um, they're like these little garlic um. Like uh, dinner rolls, basically. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're super popular in like all the New York pizzerias and stuff like that. And um, yeah, what else do we make? We have uh, donuts that we make with a local. Um, so you have like a lot of bakery well. stuff, a lot of cooking stuff like that, which is, mm -hmm. it sounds amazing. And you've only had it a year. Mm -hmm. What's the address and the name of it again? Um, it's MNJCCLV on Instagram, and you can order through um, DM with us. Absolutely amazing. Now, singing. Doing any, any singing lately? Um, I am, well, I just recorded a song last night, actually. Oh, um, cool. What's it? What's it called? Um, well, I haven't named it yet, actually. So I just recorded it and sent it off. I am still in the process of creating this EP, so I haven't named all the songs yet. So how many do you have? Um, about seven on this um, seven on, album. Seven on, on this release. album. That's big. Are you going to keep it to the seven, or are you going to put more songs on it? Um, I think just the seven. Um, there might be like a collaboration track with another artist, but um, yeah, it's kind of set. And what is your love? Because you do acting and you do singing and this kind of a stuff. Um, what's your favorite out of all of them that you really love? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if there's a favorite. <laughs> I'm, I kind of enjoy um, doing everything. I've really been on a writing kick lately. Um, so I've been writing um, a few different screenplays. Oh, oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you're writing plays as well, my goodness. So in your acting career, how's that going? It's going pretty well. Um, we actually just released a movie on, well, I didn't release it, but uh, Bobby and Renee Peoples released a movie on Tubi that oh, I was I in. Oh, I know Bobby and Renee Peoples. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they're awesome. They're, they're so cool. They're, they're, they're a cool couple. They've got a lot going on, actually, don't they? Oh, yeah, for sure. They just uh, did a Lifetime movie um, that they released, like, I think, they released it like maybe a month ago or so. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. They do a lot of documentaries as well, don't they? I think they do. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. What I'm they not do. sure about that. But they're very, very well known. My producer's saying no, they don't do documentaries. But I know they do a lot of movies and I know they're very mm -hmm. creditable and they're a wonderful, wonderful couple. Yeah, mm -hmm. bless very you. Good. yeah, bless you, everybody. Who ever <laughs> <that was. laughs> Sorry. So, what message would you like to give out there to all these people that have this kind of weird thing about cannabis? What would you like to say to them? To the public out there of, of what it really does and what it really is and um i would just like to end the stigma around it being like oh you know uh stoners you know they smoke weed and they sit at home all day and they don't do anything because that's really not what it is no um it can be helpful to a lot of people um i've seen cbd stop somebody from having a seizure 
I mean, this is stuff that really, like, with research and, you well, know, extensive with the research. Children, with the children and the seizures. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, if, if it can help us that much yes. and replace some of the more expensive pharmaceuticals, I think it's the way to the future, you know, and, 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 and people as a being younger really generation, truly healthy. Yeah, as a younger generation, you do feel that way, that this is like, like the new way for drugs, as I call them, because they're drugstores and they sell drugs mm -hmm. and prescriptions and all this crazy mm -hmm. stuff, because I know the pharmaceutical stores are against it, or companies, should I say, they're Very totally against it. Well, we know why they're against it, and I'm not going to say why, because you already all know, but I think there's room for both, I think there's room for everything, yeah, and definitely. I think if the cannabis can help you more, I love that idea. So yeah, you're, exactly. you've got a lot going on. Um, how can anybody reach you if they want to reach you for filming, mm -hmm. for singing, and for cannabis? Uh, if you follow me at bliss underscore bk underscore on Instagram or Twitter or uh, at mnjcclv or at antics, A-N-T-I-K-S-N-T, -E um, that's on Instagram and uh, Twitter and those are all of our, the things I'm affiliated with, I think. <laughs> I love the, the, you said something about that antics. Mm -hmm. what, what's antics? Uh, that's my production company. That's the name of the production mm -hmm. company. Okay, so antics. Mm -hmm. Cool name, I love it. Well, thank you thank so you. much for coming on my show. Thank She's you. absolutely a you. Uh, amazing. Um, Melissa Brown, absolutely fabulous. Uh, if you want several things, uh, just get in touch with her. Absolutely thank amazing. Thank you so much. Don't forget this is live. Don't forget to go to Vegas Live with Nina on, on YouTube. And you can subscribe, you can join and do all the above. And don't forget to uh, pop into, um, I think it's called Mariposa. This is an incredible restaurant. Uh, Mariposa cuisine and it's absolutely wonderful here and uh, we'll see you with our next guest. Take care. Thank you, Melissa.